Let's begin. All right, so could you tell me your full name, please? Um, oh, hi, my name is Insu Park. Insu Park, good. And uh, Insu, are you working or are you a student? Um, I'm working right now. I'm working as a freelancer. I teach like young children and also young adults English mm. and also about communication. Mm. And do you like your job? Um, yeah, part much. I like teaching because I think it's a really meaningful thing for me to do as a living. It also gives me a life-giving meaning by just teaching because I'm thinking that I could learn from like anybody, anything. Mm. Mm. Nice. And could you describe your hometown for me? Um, my hometown. I'm like right now living in a place called Chungnanggu. It's in Seoul, which is our capital city. And it's a kind of a bed town. We don't have much things to do, but still I like my hometown. That's about my hometown. Hmm. And now we're going to talk about being bored. So do you often feel bored? Um, Yes, I think I feel bored a lot. So that's why I do a lot of like activities because I don't really like the feeling about being bored. Mm. Mm. Okay, so when do you feel bored? Um, actually, I'm like a very like active person. So I could tell you that whenever I'm feeling bored is the time except when I'm sleeping. Mm. <laughs> okay. And do you think childhood is boring or adulthood is boring? Um, I'll, I'll guess that not childhood or like um, adulthood. I think it's more than like the part when we have to study, like the uh, middle school and high school, those teenagers. I think that time is very bored because they have a duty to do to study. Mm, okay. And now we're going to talk about celebrities. So who is your favorite celebrity in your country? Oh, in my country, that's a like, difficult question for me. But my favorite celebrity, ah, oh, I have one. Um, my favorite celebrity is a singer that is in a group called 2AM. He is um, the vocal like, part. His name is Lee Chang Min. Mm -hmm. I like him much because he, I think his voice is very beautiful. Hmm. Nice. And what kind of famous people do you often see in the news? The news? I usually see like the people who are connected to the politics, like the president or um, the other people who work for the government. Hmm. And do you think that news about famous people is always true? No, I'm going to tell you that I don't think that all of the news are true about the like famous people in the news, especially the politics. Okay. And would you like to be famous? Yes, I like to be famous, especially in my major, which I am studying right now, because I really want to be an expert in my major. Hmm. Okay. And what kind of famous people are most popular in your country? In my country, um, in my country, the like um, celebrities are famous, especially like the idol groups are very famous. They have like a very massive fandom. So they have a lot of fans and yeah, those are the most famous people. Mm, great. That will do us for part one. We'll go on to part two now. I'll give you your question. Ooh, yeah. So there is your question and I'll give you one minute to do some note taking. All right. All right. That's one minute now. Okay. So yeah, your question is, could you describe a time when some people near you made a lot of noise? Um, the time when some people near me made a lot of noise is when I was in the like loud subway. We were using the public transport transportation and there the subway was very crowded. So there were a lot of people and my friends, my friend was making a short call with her boyfriend and her voice got louder and louder because of the crowded people, like the loud noises that the people made. So that time was when she made a lot of noise, 
So, like, I felt a bit frustrated about her loud voice because I think people should be, um, like, need etiquettes in the public transportation. So I wanted her to be quiet. So I asked her to lower her voice, but still she was a bit like excited by calling her boyfriend. So she didn't lower her voice. So that made me a lot of like frustrated and also it gave me a bit of like anxiety. And so that time was when my nearest person made a lot of noise. That thing first came in my mind. Okay. Okay, so that was one minute fifteen total. Okay. Um, do you think on the subway in your country are people usually quiet or not? I think it depends on the time that you get on the subway because when it's like the time when they all finish their work, there are a lot of people in there, and I think that time is very quiet because they all look at their phones and they use the internet in the subway because in our country the internet the wi-fi in the subway but the public transportation is so good mm, okay nice now we'll go on to part three of the speaking test all right so uh what kind of places should be noise free uh i think the most noise-free place that was um, like that took my mind was the playground and the parks because that place is outside and that is made for people to rest very freely and also the children could play there like whatever they want so they could scream and like yell to each other by a fun way so I think that place is the most noise-free place mm -hmm. for me. And do you think it's easy to access those places in your country? Uh, yes, because in our country, in, we have a capital city. Uh, in the capital city, we have a large river named Han River. And that place is very accessible in any places because that river is like in the middle of our capital city. Mm, okay. And on what occasions do people need to be quiet? Quiet. As I told you in part two, I think that people should be quiet in the public transportation because that is a place that many people use and they have to share their um, places to each other. So I think that people should, I wish that people sh could be quiet in that place. Mm. Nice. And do you think people should be allowed to make noise in all public areas? Not really, because as I told you, in the transportation, people are moving to another place from where they are. So I think that place should um, be unnoisy for people's anxiety. I think it's because of my anxi anxiety, because I have a very weak ear. so. I'm a bit feel frustrated about the loud noises. Mm -hmm. And how do people usually react if other people are making excessive noise? The first thing is that I think people ignore it because in our country, it's very important to um, respect other people's opinions. So I think the first one will be ignoring it. But the second one should be asking them to be quiet because yeah, that would be um, a little bit of communication that people could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and do you think most people can do that effectively? Effectively. Um, there should be many different opinions about that, but for me, that is very, like, um, I feel it very easy to do that thing to make people quiet. I could like ask them to be quiet because as I told you, I'm a person who studied about communication. Mm, okay. And why can't people make noise in libraries or museums? Mm. Um, I think it's because that um, the libraries and museums should be a place where people have to focus on a specific thing. Like in the library, they should focus on their books that they want to borrow. And in the museum, there should be some like art 
art or like those um, things that are in the museums. So people should focus on there. So if people become loud in that place, they are disrupting other people. So that would be a rude thing. Mm. And do you think going to a museum is a common pastime in your country? Uh, yes, I think that is a very common thing to do in my country because I remember that when I was in elementary school and also middle school, we had this field trip going to the museums every year. And also we have many um, large museums in the capital city. So many people could go there very easy. Hmm. Okay. That will do us for part three. Okay, so we'll finish up there. Very nice. Okay. So yeah, let's talk about your test and give you some feedback. I would estimate your score to be 7.0. I think you spoke really well, really fluently with good pronunciation. Those are the positive things, nice. Um, I would say in part one, try to give a couple of reasons for your answer. Some of your answers were just a little bit on the short side, you know, so obviously you can speak English very well. So try and give some reasons if you can in part one. Um, part two, you spoke for one minute and 15, which, which is okay, it's a, it's a little on the short side. The maximum is two minutes, so I would say in the real exam, try to keep speaking if you can, you know. The examiner will stop you at two minutes anyway. Um, yeah, and then part three, we went through it nicely. I think there was one question in part three, there was a bit of a misunderstanding, right? Uh, the first question, what kind of places should be noise-free? Noise-free means like, there should be no noise. Yeah. Uh, you know, like you yeah, might say like this is yeah. a smoke-free zone or mm. alcohol-free zone or where you cannot do that. Oh, mm. yeah. yeah. I was a bit like, um, I got a bit misunderstanding mm. because I thought that word was like kids free so yeah that's oh, the same thing right no kids yeah. zone oh, yeah no okay, kids zone okay, okay. Mm, that's a very common thing in our country right, so that's right, why right. I got anyway that's all good so you answered the rest of them um very well so yeah that was just that um yeah there's a few grammar errors that I'll, I'll just point out to you nothing too major um maybe one time i asked you about your opinion about childhood and adulthood you said like i'll guess that um, neither, uh, neither of them are boring. Mm. Instead of I'll guess, I think it's better to say like, I would say, mm. I would say, or in my opinion, or I believe, mm. yeah, instead of guessing. Mm. Um, there was one time when you're talking about a time that was very, you said that time is very bored. So make sure it's ING in that situation. Mm. Like maybe high school is boring. Like students feel bored. Yeah, mm. so if, I think you know yourself anyway, but e, ED is your feeling or a person's feeling and ING is describing the situation. So that time is really boring for them, yeah. Um, one thing about countable, uncountable is that uh, news, instead of news are true, the news is true, yeah. You could say news stories there, so those news stories are true, but if you're just saying news in general, it should be is um, okay, we're on that. Yeah, in part two, um, when you're using the word crowded, you were saying like crowded people, you'd have to say crowded place, crowded place, or crowded with people, crowded mm -hmm. with people. Um, what else do we have? Other one is about public transportation. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying in the public transportation, you should say on. Mm -hmm. On the subway, on a bus, you know, so when people are on public transportation, they should be quiet. Um, okay, because they have to share, I think you said share their places to each other. It should be share with each other. Mm, they have to share that area. You could also say like, uh, it's a common area. A common area, meaning a shared area. Mm. Um, yeah, the pronunciation was great. There was a couple of words there, maybe um, politics. Politics, I think it was the word stress. So yeah, politics. And a little bit one, um, library. So make sure you're pronouncing that one as well, yeah. But the rest of the pronunciation and fluency were great. Uh, so yeah, that was a good test. Thank you for coming in. No, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.